Hello there. Today we will discover some cases of air drum perforations. First of all, we should take a look to the normal one. So the normal tympanic membrane is thin, semi-transparent, pretty great color. And in this cubic view, you can see different structures and landmarks. To facilitate the description of different pathologic affections, we divide the tympanic membrane into four quadrants. We can appreciate a vertical tail like perforation of the anterior quadrant, which is thin and atrophic, surrounded by some blood, and we notice a meringitis of the posterior quadrant. This picture shows a circular posterior inferior non marginal perforation with sharp edges, active inflammatory disease in middle ear, mucous secretions. The interior portion is myangosclerotic, so on the posterior superior part. At meanwhile, the pars flaccida is retracted. Observe this large perforation of the posterior quadrant. Normal middle in mucosa. Incudostapedial joint is intact. The stapedius tendon, the round window, and Jacobson's nerve running on the promontory are also visible. The interior superior quadrant of the tympanic membrane is tympanosclerotic. Be aware of this anterior superior perforation with dynamic motion of secretions during the Salva maneuver. This is a posterior superior marginal perforation of the left ear with myelangosclerotic C-shaped plaque. We can appreciate the incus behind it that is the second portion of the facial nerve. This perforation is risky because the skin of the external auditory canal can easily advance into the middle ear for a cholesteatoma. This is a posterior inferior perforation of the right ear. Speculated edges like an open window to the round in the niche. The remaining tympanic membrane is rigid, retracted. 